Welcome to Samba Plus TV, where we serve you the latest entertainment news making headlines. Nigeria music star Bankole Wellington, popularly known as Banky W, has slammed the Lagos state government over its plans to reopen the Lekki toll gate. The singer made this known via his Twitter page on Thursday. According to the Lagos Party singer, the state government has disregarded the pains young Nigerians felt during the killings that took place at the popular toll gate. Banky's tweets are coming on the heels of the proposed opening of the toll gate. According to the State Commissioner for Information, Mr. Benga Omotosho, the Lekki Concession Company, LCC, will open a toll gate for business on Friday, April 1, 2022. <laughs> Former Big Brother Niger housemate Jumoke Adedoyin, popularly known as JMK, has called out a prospective toaster. The reality TV star took to our Twitter page on Friday, March 18, 2022, where she slammed the man. In just one scoop, he just want, you know, try and lock. If you agree, fine. If you don't agree, well, this is what she wrote. Niggas piss me off. You reject their advances and they start talking crap about you. You must be a fucking retard. She tweeted, well, this is not the first time JMK will be addressing a man for disrespecting her or harassing her. It will be recalled that in December 2021, she called out a man for sending her D.I.C.K. photos. J.M.K. was one of the housemates from the sixth season of the reality TV show, Big Brother Naija. <laughs> Award-winning gospel singer Tim Godfrey has revealed the identity of his fiance, who he proposed to on Valentine's Day. The Nigerian singer shared pictures of himself and his lover identified as Erika, Erika Chugu, in the post on his Instagram account. The father of one during the proposal last month had concealed the identity of his fiance. Tim Godfrey, in the latest post on his account, shared photos of them and tagged her Instagram handle. He captioned the photos, Just take a look at the person I get to do life with. At Erika Katrina underscore. <laughs> you are my greatest reward from God. I love you. My still waters. I'm even falling in love like this. Well, Tim Godfrey is known for hosting a yearly concert, Fearless, which sees top gospel artists across the country gather to worship. <laughs> Popular Nigerian actress Annie Idibia recently got emotional and even shed tears as she spoke about her complicated relationship with her husband and legendary singer Tubaba. Annie, who is part of the celebrities on the young, famous, and Africa reality show, got vulnerable with some of her co-stars as she spoke on her marriage. The mother of two spoke on how you meet someone, know them first, then suddenly hear the news of two other women having babies for him. According to the actress, her first baby is Tubaba's fifth child. What? Oh my God. Hmm. Hey God. Annie also noted that it had caused her lots of humiliation and embarrassment as she wondered how a person could make the same mistake twice. Annie admitted that there had been a lot of pain and hurt, but she accepted that the good times are so much more and she has forever with two baba for him to make up for the bad times. According to her, love is so, so much more than people say it is. <laughs> Fuji singer Saido Shuba is currently locked in a cold war with the Oyo State Governor Sheyu Makinde. According to sources, the cold war between the singer and the governor is far from over, even after the two were believed to have had a truce meeting. In a recent show that was held at the Liberty Stadium in Badon, the musician declared war on the governor, saying he will unearth some dirty secret about him in his upcoming album. I'm gonna wait till we won't hear about that too. Now that, that that's secret we need. <laughs> But those in the know alleged that Oshukba's grudge against Makinde was what he termed use and dump. Some months back, Oshukba released an album where he told the story of Chief Rashid Ladoja and Shaheen Makinde mirroring it with betrayal and lies. <laughs> Veteran actor Richard Mufe Damijo RMD has opened up on a pastoral call on his life, which he has been running away from. Are you serious? Hey, yeah, you for talk I've seen smile. He narrated how several persons always shared their dreams when they saw him as a pastor. RMD confessed to have willfully avoided the pulpit for many years after having taught in Sunday school for over 15 years. But he noted the call always has a way of seeking him out in movie roles. The 60-year-old actor asked fans to look out for him in the movie Cold. 
where he once again plays the character of a man of God. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar speaked the 2023 Presidential Express of Interest and Nomination Forum of the People's Democratic Party, mm, PDP. Yes, sir. Atiku, who is the first aspirant to secure the forms, which cost 40 million naira, will formally declare his ambition on Wednesday, March 23. According to sources, the forms were picked for him by the Northeast Business Forum at the PDP National Secretariat Abuja, a chairman of the forum, Al Haji Talhatu Fanakaya, led the delegation. The group, after purchasing the forum, presented the forum to Atiku at his Asokore residence in Abuja. But the purchase of the forum comes barely hours after the PDP National Executive Committee, NEC, approved the party's schedule for the 2023 election, which gave the go ahead for the sales of forum. That's it on the news today. Make sure you keep it a date with us tomorrow. We're going to be here. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, Samba Plus TV. Instagram, Samba Plus TV. Facebook, Samba Plus TV. Twitter, Samba Plus TV. Everywhere, it is Samba Plus TV.